amazing artists. It's me, Miss Abby, your art teacher. And today I'm going to create some pictures of bugs and insects. And I think bugs and insects are kind of special. I'm noticing they're coming out more and more in the spring and they're very helpful to us as people because they eat other bugs, like ladybugs, eat bugs that call the aphids. They eat them, and those aphids are the ones that eat tomato plants and flowers that we're trying to grow in our gardens. And dragonflies actually eat mosquitoes. And bumblebees, the Lee Academy mascot, they help the earth by creating honey and pollinating beautiful flowers so that we can have a strong and beautiful ecosystem. And I think that's all really special. Also, bugs are symmetrical. That means if you draw a line down the middle, they are the same on both sides. See? And 10 on one side and 10 on the other. Spot here, spot on the other side. Step one of this project is to create a guideline by folding your paper in half. I'm using a giant paper, but use whatever you got. This is kind of helping you keep things, whoops. This is helping you keep things symmetrical because I know insects are symmetrical or kind of the same on both sides. So this is the first step. Next, you're gonna get out your marker or your pencil or whatever you want and draw your choice of insect. I'm gonna do first a bumblebee, because we gotta do that, because that's the Lee Academy mascot. And then second, I'm gonna do a dragonfly. Now, as you notice, bugs have, I'm using this bug book as an example, they have three different sections on their body. They have a little head, slightly bigger, uh, thorax in the middle, and then an abdomen, which is really big. This one is like, this one is about twice as big as the head and the abdomen put together. So three sections and then off of there are wings and arms and legs and antennae. Here's my dragonfly, and I got really inspired when I was looking at pictures in my bug book of a dragonfly. I noticed that up close it had all of these interesting details on its wings that look kind of like glassy, like crystals, or like stained glass, you see? And it had an interesting pattern on its tail. I chose to make it a different color though, I was picking my cool purples and turquoises. Next, I'm gonna make a bumblebee. And for this one, I'm gonna use this picture from my bug book as observation. And I'm going to really try and get the energy of the bee and how it's, you see how it's fuzzy and furry? I really like that. And that's actually, I think, helpful to help it pollinate flowers. Ta-da! Here's my bumblebee, and I worked really hard at getting nice zigzaggy fuzzy texture because I wanted this to look a little different than a scary hornet. It would be like a friendly fuzzy bumblebee. And I really like, I really had fun drawing them. I, when I first started, I was a little unsure because like insects are sometimes kind of icky, but when I looked up close and started drawing them, I actually really liked drawing insects and I went kind of crazy. I drew this one, this one, this one, this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Wow, that's pretty awesome. I hope you give this a try. I love drawing insects. And it was a fun challenge trying to make them symmetrical and looking really closely at something that I probably see every day as some kind of insect in the summer. So it was fun to look close at how cool and
interesting they are. Bye, have fun making art.